Okay, we uh, managed to bale a little today, and then it got tough, so there's some of the bales. So, uh, I don't know why I got plugged on this in the baler, but uh, this is nice. Uh, I just started a bale and I got plugged, so I dumped it here in the yard. I'll bale that back up, but the John Deere Moco, the vibration dampener, came apart somehow. There's only one rubber piece left in there out of uh, two or three, I can't remember. The bad thing is, the bolts are broken. I've tried taking them out, so I gotta pull the gearbox. So I got the farmer crane in here. And uh, I'm just unbolting the gearbox. Three bolts, two spline shafts. This is the adjustment for the, the belt going down to the knives. This is the last bolt I gotta take out. Then you just pull it out of the PTO there, and uh, it should have the gearbox off. Then we'll look at the vibration dampener. Just want to mention, for some reason, these grease circs have to all be in a line. I have no idea why, but when we put this back on a couple years ago, the grease circs weren't in line, and it throws the timing out somehow, even though this is the timing plate. I got no idea how it happens, but it does. Okay, so we got the uh, Russian farmer crane shut off here. So the gearbox is out. Slips off these splines, like I said. Slips out of the main PTO. There's a couple bolts to take out. This is the uh, eye bolt tensioner I was talking about. There's a bolt here and a bolt here. So. There's the belt that runs down to the gearbox. New Holland calls it a wobble box. John Deere doesn't really say much. It's called a cutter box or something. Cutter gearbox. So, Anyways, we'll try and take these bolts out. Get this rubber out. And hopefully that's all that's broken. Because it does, it does turn that knife over. But maybe that explains why we're having such a hard time cutting. And it's like the cutter bar is constantly plugged, or the constantly plugging the cutter bars led to this breaking. So we'll figure it out here. Okay, off to John Deere to buy some more parts. So it looks like it might be one rubber ring. And uh, these shims, or whatever you want to call them, are in there against the rubber. And uh, this drives from the gearbox through the rubber ring and that drives the belt for the uh, knife section. So uh, I don't have a drill over here at the farm. It burnt up and I never replaced it and I normally have my cordless in the half ton and my cordless was taken out for one reason or another and uh, I know where it is, it's on the kitchen counter. But uh, point is, I don't have a drill. One of these turns uh, relatively easy. So hopefully the other two will. And uh, just drill them out. I got easy outs sitting over there. I just don't have a drill. <laughs> so I'll have to uh, go grab one of the drills and continue this. But uh, probably won't come back and drill those out because I got to get this rubber band. So that'll probably be tomorrow if John Deere's got this.